Where did I put it? It's not on the bumper. It's not up here. Nope. Not mounted on the side of the bus. Nope. Not on that side either. Let's check on top. Nope. Not on the roof. Let's check the front. Nope. Not up here. That's the generator. Watch the video and I'll show you where I hit it. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna uh, go over a couple things. When I'm on Facebook, I'm in several groups uh, for van life, uh, shuttle bus conversions, uh, trying to help out and give people ideas on what I did, seeing that mine's complete. One of the subject comes up often is the mini splits, installing them into the shuttle buses or uh, regular sized buses. I did a video on this uh, about the tips and tricks uh, that I've learned and I'll leave a card right there and I'll leave a link in the description. Well, also I tell people when they go to install it, uh, you know, everybody's looking for the most uh, floor space, square footage inside of their rig. And I tell them, why don't you Conceal it. Yeah, I don't know what people think driving down the road when they see the outside condenser unit mounted on the back of a bus or the you know mount on the bumper. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying I, I don't want that sticking out there. Plus, somebody might steal it. You know, with a uh, metal out of the coils or something. I don't know. But saying that. Uh, when I built this, uh, me and my friend, we designed it, and, and he installed it, and I totally concealed the outside unit, and it's underneath the bus. It's about right underneath where that, right under the bed, right there where Spanky is, and uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. But first off, um, let's go outside and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. One of the things that uh, people ask me about when I put it down below is they're worried about ground clearance, they're worried about uh, rocks and, and road debris and, and mud and things like that hit it. And it's been underneath there almost three years and I haven't had that problem. Yes, I did do some protection to it and it's worked out beautifully. Um, so if you're considering doing a mini split in your rig, might be something to consider. Uh, the way I did it, uh, being over here underneath the bed, it doesn't take up but a little bit of space out of my would-be storage that is underneath there, and nobody can even see uh, the part that's inside the bus. And all of those specifications uh, are still uh, following the manufacturer's specifications as far as a uh, distance off of the wall, uh, etc. In this, in my case, it's the frame. But let's go outside and check it out. Here we are on the outside of the bus, and my condenser unit, the outside unit, is located right here. Okay, I got it tucked in. I'll show you a video right here uh, on the install of that. And but we actually cut a hole in the bottom of the floor and raised the unit up and that's going to give us the ground clearance. Let me show you. Now, if you can see, you can see here there's plenty of ground clearance. Uh, it doesn't hang down any lower than other things on the bus. Uh, I know the air is blowing a little bit, but as you can see, I've got this expanded metal grating over the front of it. I've also got that on the back and underneath I've got an aluminum diamond plate on the bottom and each end.
the back side doesn't have any uh, grating on it. I forgot I took that off. Uh, it really doesn't get anything uh, back here, but I still have enough space between the unit and the frame so that it gets good ventilation. I tried to do a little bit of uh, insulation by putting this uh, Reflectix up here on this door. A lot of heat comes through there. Uh, people have asked about road debris and other things like that. I do have to con probably clean my condenser more than uh, other people. And then I have to clean it about every two to three weeks. I usually clean it depending on how far I've gone, if I've driven anything, what kind of weather I drove in. And I clean my filters inside a lot. So, but I still, I've had it under here for about three years now and it does great. I haven't had any problems with it as far as uh, cooling, etc., like that. Uh, I think it's an awesome place to put it. I, you know, if you were gonna install it in the back, uh, your rig, uh, you know, there's ways to do that. The, over the top of this is my bed. And uh, it's, the actual space that comes up is underneath my bed, so, I didn't lose much storage space underneath there and uh, it, nobody can see it anyway. I have the Pioneer 12,000 BTU mini split with, uh, it also has the heat pump. And it works really well on the heat pump as well during the winter time. Uh, of course, I can only run this off of either being plugged up in an RV park like I'm at now or my generator. Okay, well, now that I got him off the bed, he wasn't happy about it. Uh, as you can see, I keep a sheet on top of the bed because uh, Spanky, he sheds a lot. Anyway, enough about Spanky. We'll cover that in another video. But Let me see if I can get underneath here and show it to you. Now I've got a lot of other stuff parked, packed in there, but you can hear the vent. and see the box that comes up through the floor. So, so basically, like I said, it's been underneath there for almost three years and it does do very well. Um, my biggest fight is the windows, the heat coming through the windows and I've got all my windows are sealed off. But <clears throat> during the day, it'll be a lot of heat coming through here. I'm going to work on getting me some ceramic tent. And when I do, I'll sure to share that with you. But on the wall here where there's another window that's covered up, even though it's insulated, you can still feel the heat coming through the wall. Another thing, another thing I do is I've got this curtain right here during the day and I block that off and that way it just has, I'm only cooling two thirds of the bus. So right now it's about 85, uh, 87 degrees outside and it is 75 in here and that's exactly what I got my unit set at. During uh, different parts of AP, it depends if it gets hotter, I'll lower it down and it usually stays 
within five to ten degrees of the ambient temperature. Um, that's really what I try to keep it at. So anyway, I do have to clean my coils a lot more and I do have to clean the filters mostly because of my smoking, which I'm trying to quit, and of course cat hair uh, and regular dust in, in a rig. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps out. If you've got any questions about the install, uh, etc., you can uh, email me, uh, hit me up on Instagram, and I will uh, share some more information with you. So thank you for stopping by. Hope this helps somebody, and uh, they may consider about putting their AC under their rig. 100% totally concealed. No questions? Out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, y'all stay tuned because it's the free reign nomad and you never know what's going to happen next.